Hello all. Hello all. Myself, Professor AJ More, working in the Engineering Sciences Department as a assistant professor. So our today's topic is some introduction about project-based learning. In this session, we are going to uh, discuss the definition of the PBL, that is project-based learning, history of the PBL, purpose of the PBL, advantages of the PBL, difficulties in PBL, seven essential project design elements, and difference between the project-based learning and problem-based learning. And lastly, we will discuss the PBL, sample PBL project. So what is the project-based learning? Project-based learning is the teaching method in which students learn by actively engage in real world and personally meaningful project. The student learn about the project by working for an extended period of time, and investigate and, and respond to complex questions and challenge or problem. It is the style of active learning and inquired best learning. The PBL contrasts with the paper-based wrote, wrote memorization or teacher lead instruction that present established fact or portrays a smooth path to knowledge by instead of posing the questions and comma problems of synonyms. The history of the PBL is John Dewey is recognized as a one of the early proponent of the project-based education, or at least its principles through his idea of learning by doing. The project-based learning has been long tradition in America public schools, extending back to the 19th century to the work of Francis W. Parker and John Dewey. As a method for the general education, the idea of the project-based classroom instruction was co-opted from agriculture and the industrial art. And after the first being applied in the elementary schools was extended to all the grade levels. The purpose of the project-based learning is integrate the knowledge and skill from various area through from, from, from complex and the multidisciplinary project. Autonomous learning and the work. The uninstructed program problems that need research Autonomy will lead to the research and the search for the information. And in that context, it is essential to develop their ability to discern uh, which information is reliable and which is not. The teamwork, preparing students for the social environment, the self-evaluation and the self-criticism against the self-complacency, trying to see beyond their own ideas and the knowledge. The advantages of the PBL, it promotes the students such as importance of skills, important skills as a group work, autonomous learning, self-assessment skill, time planning, project work, or oral and written expression skills. It improves the students' motivation, which translates into the better academic performance and greater persistence in the study. In short, knowledge of each subject is acquired but above all, an important skill is achieved. The difficulties in PBL, a challenge methodology like the implies difficulty, difficulties of adaptation for both teachers and students as it is changes the traditional roles. For students, you must overcome their resistance to participants. They may have impression that it applies an increase in the workload Normally, it is not so much an increase as a distribution throughout the course. At first, they may be become disoriented. For a teacher, a difficulty is it can mean to increase the workload partially in the evaluation work. The greater need for the coordination between the subjects. There are seven essential project design elements like we can see in this diagram. So first one is the authenticity, student voice and choice, reflection, critic and revision, public product, challenging problems or questions and sustain the inquiry. 
So these are the seven essential project design elements. And the learning goal is to key knowledge, understanding and success goals, success skills. So difference between the project based learning and problem based learning is project based learning begin with the assignment of the task and that will lead to the creation of final product and art fact. The emphasis is on the end product, but in the problem based learning. So begins with the problem that determines what students study. The problem derives from observable phenomena or event. This emphasis is on acquiring new knowledge and the solution is less important. Next difference is student work on open-ended assignment. This could be a more than one problem. In the problem-based learning, students are presented with the open-ended and authentic question. Third difference is the in the pro problem project-based learning, student analyze the problem and generate the solution. But in case of problem based learning, the student analyze the questions. In case of project based learning, the student design, develop the prototype of the solution. Whereas in the problem based learning, the student generate hypothesis that explain the phenomena. In case of pro project based learning, student refine the solution based of based on feedback from the expert, instructors, and the peers. Whereas in the problem-based learning, student identifies further follow-up questions, students seek additional data to the answer uh, the questions. Next uh, is the, what kind of content should be there in our project-based learning projects? The main aspects, there should be the main aspects of this methodology are as follow, the contest, characteristics, then subjects uh, area, then project and the, as a team, learning plan of the project, where are the, which are the milestones included in the PBL projects, then budget of the project, then evaluation of the project, and lastly, the result, which are you are getting from the, maybe from your uh, uh, experimentation, maybe from the simulation analysis and all, so that we need to present. So a mini project can be a one kind of project based learning. A mini project is an assignment that you try to complete at the end of every semester, especially in the engineering to strengthen the understanding of your fundamentals to the effect of application of theoretical concept. There are separate credits for each mini project you complete at academy, though few students taking the follow up or taking, taking up the project out of uh, their own interest and passions. Mini project can help students to boost the skills and widen the student's horizon of thinking. The steps in mini projects, selection of uh, topic as per your interest, the research about selected topic online, that is literature survey, the suggestion from your subject expert you can uh, consider, then plan your project, as per the number of days or number of weeks are available, execute the plans. Then as per your project concept or the topic, so you can go for the fabrication, demonstration, experimentation, or software development or the app development, and then later on analysis as well. And then finally, we can go for the project preparation report and the end, you can present your project in front of uh, uh, experts. So this is what we have discussed in the details of the project and uh, so some of the guidelines of the preparation of many projects are here. So what you can add in your project like introduction, review of the literature, report of the present investigation, result and discussion, summary and conclusion, and lastly, appendix, if some appendix are available based on your project. So these are the references from where I have collected the data. Thank you.